Now then, I do. Welcome to a bit more Yorkshire Brass. Once again with me, David Hoyle. This is show number 143 in our online series. We started with a cracking piece of music this week called Folk Festival by Dmitry Shostakovich, arranged by Howard Snell and played there by the Williams Ferry Band. Brian in York, that was for you. First up this week. The first hour, in fact, we've got uh, another couple of pieces in there by Shostakovich. And more by good luck than management, the your requests. And coming up, as always two hours ish of your brass band favorites the first march of the week is for david in keithley uh, whit friday is my favorite time of year says david and i don't hear this march played often enough i agree with you david um i remember playing this back in the 1980s one particular year and uh, it's a good one wilbur p sampson the composer and the brickhouse and rastrick band play high command <laughs>
The March High Command by Wilbur P. Sampson was played by the Brickhouse and Rastrick Band. Thanks to David in Keithley for that particular request. Our overture this week is actually our heritage track of the week and it's played by the great CWS Manchester Band at the request of Glyn Richards. It's a dedication from the Cobham Band in memory of Joe Smith, their former principal cornet, who sadly passed away in December. I love this recording, there's the crackles from the stylus and everything. You want to love it too. This is Verdi's La Forza del Destino, the force of destiny. Thank you. 
The great CWS Manchester band playing Verdi's La Forza del Destino, the English title, The Force of Destiny. This week's overture was requested by Glyn Richards as a dedication from the Cobham Band to the memory of Joe Smith, their former principal cornet. Joe was from Cobham, sadly passed away in December. He'll be greatly missed by all those who knew him. Next up is our first solo. This is for Sheila and Derek in Halifax. Loving the programme, Zoily, and it keeps us going every week. We often listen two or three times. You know, you're not on your own. I get lots of lovely feedback like that, and thank you to everybody for listening. This is music by the wonderful Kenny Baker, and our featured soloist here is another great, Alan Morrison, and he's playing here with the Wally Arnold Rothwell Band. For Sheila and Derek in Halifax, this is Virtuosity.
Alan Morrison with the Wallace Arnold Rothwell Band playing Kenny Baker's Virtuosity. That was requested by Sheila and Derek in Halifax. They sent an email in. Yorkshirebrass at gmail.com is our email address. That's the best place to send your dedications in. They're all in one central place. Uh, you can put them in the Yorkshire Brass Facebook group as well, but I'll be honest with you, from a point of view of easiness, the email is miles better. I'll tell you what this week's subject is after the next piece of music, but we're off to a lovely region of France now, and back actually to the great CWS Manchester band. This piece is another one which isn't played often enough, and the composer, Brian Kelly, is, in my mind very underrated there are some really cracking stuff and, and a lot of brian kelly's music i find have these chords in them that shouldn't work but absolutely do and when you play them you'll sit there in the band and you go wow that actually is lovely shouldn't be but it is this is for kelly in somerset who herself is taking a trip this summer to provence <laughs> Thank you. 
Provence by Brian Kelly, played by the CWS Manchester Band. That was for Kelly in Somerset. Kelly is spending well, six weeks in France in the summer holidays, working in an adventure camp, looking after children who are going on adventure holidays. What a lovely thing to do, and a great, great region of France to do it. Very, very scenic indeed. Let me tell you, if I may, about this week's specialist subject. It's called What's in Your Yorkshire? What's in Your Yorkshire? I remember, I'm going to say about 1986 or 7, uh, going in a pub, no surprise there, and seeing this giant Yorkshire pudding come out, which basically looked to have a full roast dinner inside it. And that was a new thing at the time. But since then, things have developed, of course, and the Yorkshire pudding has become the mainstay of many dishes. Um, yeah, the full Sunday roast would have been in there. But I've got a list here of other things which are now put into Yorkshire puddings. And some of them are great, and some of them you think, really? Um, the world has evolved, hasn't it? Mushroom and brie. Um, not particularly for me in a Yorkshire pudding, but it's popular. You go into quite a number of places, and you see mushroom and brie on the menu. You also see sweet things in Yorkshire puddings. I'm yet to be convinced on that, even with custard over. But I'm going to tell you what's on the list. Blackberry and apple. Well, I suppose that's like a blackberry and apple crumble, but replacing the crumble on top with the Yorkshire pudding underneath. I must give this a go sometime, just to eliminate or tick the box, really. Um, chili con carne. Yeah, I've seen that. Absolutely no problem. Um, and that is, that is good. Uh, Caramelised plum, another sweet one. I like things which are caramelised, especially, I like caramelised onions, I think they're fabulous, especially, you know, when, when when they've gone to a certain point and they're really, really soft. Corned beef hash, now here's one of my favourites, I love a corned beef hash for a brunch, if I'm in America, if I'm lucky enough to be in America, then it's there at breakfast time. So what's in New Yorkshire is the subject this week, and more coming up in a while. Another track coming up now, which actually on another week could well have been our heritage track. I remember playing this one in the early 80s on a few concerts. This is the Black Dyke Mills Band playing for Trevor in Shelf, and the music is by Sam B. Wood. We heard the Blue Danube Waltz last week. We're going to hear a variation on this now, which is called the Rhythmic Danube. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's not as easy to play as it sounds. The Rhythmic Danube by Sam B. Wood, based, of course, on the Blue Danube Waltz. Trevor in Shelf, thanks for that request. It was played there by the Black Dyke Mills Band. Time for another solo now. This is for Julie in Sheffield. I'm a home player, Oily, and I'd love to learn how to play this solo. I wonder if you can play it for me so I can listen to it with the part in front of me, because that's how I learn. Julie, that's how I learn the majority of of the pieces of music. If there is a recording, of course, then in go the, the, the earbuds or the earphones go over the top of the head, whichever I want to use that day, I've got both. Um, and I just sit and listen and listen and listen with the part in front of me. It's the best way to learn and uh, good on you. This is a lovely piece of music, a Gordon Langford arrangement. We, we always have Uncle Gordon in the shows, don't we? And played here by the lovely Helen Valley with the Hammonds Band. The Lark in the Clear Air.
Yeah, that's a smashing piece of music, isn't it? Gordon Langford's arrangement of The Lark in the Clear Air. The tenor horn soloist was Helen Varley and the Hammonds Band with the accompaniment. Julian Sheffield, you've now got your recording flower. You can uh, work on that as long as you like. We're off to Bonnie Scotland next. And uh, this piece of music, well, there is a little story, isn't there, Grant, behind the request. Grant says, I've been in a little bit of trouble. I bet you have. Uh, my other half asked me to buy her a certain thing for Christmas. Just a routine thing, but nevertheless, out I went and bought it. And I thought, I'll be a good lad. I went and bought it in November. And I popped it away somewhere safe to wrap up later on. Roll on to ten o'clock on Christmas Eve. Could I find the present? No. My other half was in the house, wondering what I was doing. And cutting a long story short, I still didn't find it. And I had to wrap up an IOU. Oh, dear boy. That must have been so embarrassing. Um, so Grant says, next time I will wrap the present straight away and leave it in a prominent position where I know where it is. My choice sums up the mood when I announced that I couldn't find the present on Christmas morning. This is music by Irving Berlin. Gough Richards with the arrangement for Brass Band and the Grimethorpe Colliery Band playing. Wait for it. Let's face the music and dance. <laughs> Thank you. 
The Grimethorpe Colliery Band playing Gough Richards' arrangement of Irving Berlin's music. Let's face the music and dance. Grant in Falkirk with that request. Grant, uh, have you found your other half's Christmas present yet? Do let us know. Uh, Grant had been a good boy. He bought the present well in advance and then hid it and couldn't find it. I'm quite good at things like that. Although it's never happened to me with Christmas presents. I'm, uh, I'm usually a bit more on the ball and a bit wary of uh, making a big mistake like that. You won't do it again, will you? That's for sure. It says so in your email. I'm just saying what you've what you've put down, really. Uh, but what a great story. Next up, Morris. How do, Oily? How do, Morris? Morris is in Maltby, and uh, he's uh, celebrating his 80th birthday coming up this week. He says, The wife and I still like to go to a dance if we can find one. There aren't many around, but every so often we go on holiday and it's the type of holiday with like-minded people. So we can go and we can have a ballroom dance uh, on uh, every night of a five-day coach holiday. That's lovely. And uh, you are going on one of these holidays uh, in the spring to celebrate belatedly your 80th birthday. Your request, we're back to Dmitry Shostakovich. This time it's Alan Fernie's arrangement played by the Black Dyke Band. And this music is from Jazz Suite 2, the second Jazz Suite. And it's called The Second Waltz. Happy birthday, Morris. <laughs> Thank you. 
The Black Dyke Band playing Shostakovich's second waltz from Jazz Suite Number no. 2. The arrangement was by Alan Fernie, and we're wishing Morris a very happy 80th birthday. Morris is in Maltby in South Yorkshire. Thanks again for the request. Back to this list, what's in New Yorkshire? This week's, this week's special subject. Um, and it's been brought about really by a memory that someone evoked uh, I was going back to the sort of mid-80s, 86, 87, something like that, uh, and in a pub, and it was the first time I'd ever seen a giant Yorkshire pudding on a menu, and it was just full of a, of a roast dinner, and I thought, what a novel idea, and uh, it sort of took off, didn't it? Most pubs seem to do it now in some way, shape or form, providing they haven't run out of things, well, that, we'll come on to that later. Um, but another few things on the list. Traditionally, I suppose... That the the finest thing would be roast beef and onion gravy, um, and and the veg on the side for me, if I'm honest, um, but you can't you can't beat a bit of roast beef and onion gravy in a Yorkshire pudding, um, bacon and fried eggs, yes, you, I've, I've started to see this appearing now. The the breakfast Yorkshire, bacon and a couple of fried eggs laid in the bottom of a Yorkshire pudding, toad in the hole, standard fare, can't beat it. Um, sausages in a Yorkshire pudding for those who don't know um, another one on the list just simply stuffing you can have a Yorkshire pudding just with stuffing in it that's a bit like um, a sage and onion Yorkshire pudding isn't it where you would just mix sage and onion in with your mix and it comes out as a sage and onion Yorkshire pudding to go with chicken or, or, or turkey or even pork to some degree more of these things in a little while um, but we're staying with Black Dyke it's the Black Dyke Mills Band this time and more Dmitry Shostakovich music. This time arranged by Derek Broadbent and Susan in Murfield has been in touch to say, Oily, can I have that bit of the programme where you play a really lovely, thoughtful and slow piece? I'd like to hear Romance from the Gadfly. Here we go, Susan. <laughs>
Lovely music, Derek Broadbent's arrangement of Shostakovich's Romance from the Gadfly, our thoughtful spot of the week, was chosen by Susan in Murfield and played by the Black Dyke Mills Band. The Black Dyke Band will be joining me, I'll be joining them, and the Shepherd Group Band in York on Sunday the 19th of February in a concert to raise funds for the wonderful charity York Against Cancer. I've worked with them before the great concerts and uh, it's at half past two in the afternoon so you can pop along if you're in the area I want to travel out to York it is for a great cause I will pop details again on the Yorkshire Brass website you can also pop across to the York Against Cancer website and um, details of where to get tickets etc are on there. Both bands will play separately, so the Shepherd Group Band first, then the Black Dyke Band, and then they will join forces for a short mass bands section. Really, really looking forward to it. Sunday, the 19th of February in York, and Steph is coming to that concert. Steph's put the next request in. This is all about my wonderful city, Oily. Definitely looking forward to seeing you on the 19th of Feb, and I wondered if you'd play this for me on one of the shows in the build-up. Certainly will. The Brickhouse and Rastrick Band playing your request here. Alan Fernie, the arranger, and this is all about 10,000 men. It's called The Grand Old Duke. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yet another great arrangement by Alan Fernie. This one, all about 10,000 men. The Grand Old Duke is the title of that piece of music. And Steph in York made the request. The Brickhouse and Rastrick Band were playing there. Steph's coming to the concert in York at the Grand Opera House on Sunday the 19th of February. The Shepherd Group Band joined by the Black Dyke Band. And they are joining together to raise funds for York Against Cancer. Really, really good charity. I'm comparing the concert. The bands will play separately. Uh, and then they will play together. It will be a great event. I've done one of these before, and it was memorable. We start the second half with music by the Yorkshire Imperial Band. They are appearing in Huddersfield on the 11th of February in a joint concert with the Huddersfield Wind Band. The concert is at Salandine Nook Baptist Church on Moorhill Road, uh, and it starts at half past seven, Saturday the 11th of February. You can get your tickets online from the website of the Yorkshire Imperial Band, yorkshireimps.co.uk. £10 for adults, concessions 65 and over, and under 16 are £8, and under 10s are free. I think it's brilliant when they do that, because it gets young people involved. That's a joint concert with the Huddersfield Wind Band and the Yorkshire Imperial Band on Saturday the 11th of February at half past seven at Salandine Nook Baptist Church in Huddersfield. What we're going to hear from the Yorkshire Imperial Band? Well, we are going to hear um, this piece of music which has been requested on behalf of Richard Carter in Huddersfield. It's a request that we get regularly, in fact every year at this time of year, because it's Richard's birthday and the music is almost pronounced exactly the same as his name. The music is by Diego Ortiz, it's arranged for brass band by Simon Kerwin and the Yorkshire Imperial Band are indeed playing here. Richa Carter. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yorkshire Imperial Band playing Simon Kerwin's arrangement of music by Diego Ortiz. That was called Risa Carter, otherwise known as Richard Carter. It's Richard's birthday this week. Happy birthday, my friend. Have a good one. The second March of the week, uh, this is for Paul in Staley Bridge, another big fan of Whit Friday and someone else who has already made arrangements to book the day off work. Well, you would, wouldn't you, if you live in the area, uh, and just go out and enjoy the best free show on earth. This is the Dob Cross Band playing your choice, Paul, the music of Charles Anderson. ORB. <laughs> Dog Cross Band playing the music of Charles Anderson, the March ORB.
It stands for Oldham Rifles Brigade, and that was for Paul in Staley Bridge, a massive fan of Whit Friday. You and me are like matey, absolutely. Can't wait for it. Uh, back to another Alan Morrison solo, two of Alan's this week featured, and this one is for Ron in Denby. Fond memories, says Ron, of my youngsters playing this in a junior band. I wonder if it was ours, because we used to play this on a regular basis, and probably four or five different principal cornets over the years I played in the junior band played this. It was pretty much a staple of our programme in the late 70s, early 1980s. Alan's playing this time with the Grimefolk Colliery Band, and this is the music of Edrich Siebert. Ronin Denby has chosen the Lazy Trumpeter. <laughs> Thank you. 
great way to showcase your talents as a cornet player. Alan Morrison with the Grimethorpe Colliery Band playing Edrich Siebert, the lazy trumpeter, Ron in Denby. That was for you. And I use the word showboat because that's our next piece. Happy 90th birthday to Mary in Otley, says daughter Eileen. I'd love to send this request and dedication in from myself and my children, Mary's grandchildren, Jason, Helen, Martin and Sue. Mum is lovely. She is so active for a 90-year-old and she loves your programme, Ollie. She'll sit there and listen online every week. She's glued to it at 5.29 every Saturday. We keep telling her that she doesn't have to do it at that time, but she is insistent that she's going to be one of the first people to hear each week's new show. Here are the Redbridge Band playing the music of Jerome Kern to wish Mary in Otley a happy 90th birthday. This is a selection from Showboat.
selection from Showboat, the music of Jerome Kern played by the Red Bridge Band. Yes, that that wonderful Paul Robeson bit in the middle. Fabulous stuff. Happy 90th birthday, Flower Mary in Otley. Your daughter Eileen and your grandchildren Jason, Helen, Martin and Sue sent in that request and dedication. Hope you have a lovely day. Another solo now. This is a flugelhorn solo requested by Brian and Glynis. They're requesting this for their friend in Nottinghamshire. His name's Gren Hardy uh, and a brass band lover and listener to this programme. I'm going to play the piece of music, Brian and Glynis, that you've requested, but sadly I don't have the, the version or the player that you were looking for on your original email playing this particular piece of music. But what I do have is a fabulous alternative. This is Lucy Murphy, now Mrs Lucy Cut, of course, playing with the Marple band, Joy Webb, the composer, and Ivor Bazanko, the arranger. This is Share My Yoke.
the lovely mellow sound of the flugelhorn, played there by Lucy Murphy with the Marple Band. That was Ivor Basanko's arrangement of Joy Webb's Share My Yoke, playing for Gren Hardy in Nottinghamshire with best wishes from Brian and Glynish. You're good friends, you're all brass band lovers, and really enjoy listening to my programme. Thank you very much to you all. Next up, uh, five people. That's all playing on the next track. They're called Five Nights at the Opera. Nigel in Home Firth is a, a policeman, a long-serving police officer. Thank you for everything that you do, Nigel. And the piece of music that you have requested has got a link to the job that you do. Uh, I remember watching my great-uncle Morris, uh, a local actor, amateur operatics, in the Pirates of Penzance many years ago. And this particular piece of music made me smile. Uh, it made most people in the audience smile because the actions that go with it, the bending of the knees and things like that, go on. As I say, music by Sir Arthur Sullivan, the Five Nights at the Opera are playing here. From the Pirates of Penzance, Tuba Copper.
Brilliant. Tuba Copper from the Pirates of Penzance. The music of Sir Arthur Sullivan was played by Five Nights at the Opera for Nigel in Home Firth. Let's go back to this list of Yorkshire pudding fillings. What's in your Yorkshire? That's this week's feature. Bratwurst or Bratwurst. You can pronounce it as you will. Bratwurst is the Yorkshire pronunciation, but the proper German pronunciation is Bratwurst. Bratwurst sausages. I quite like those, I have to say. A, a pizza. A Yorkshire pizza. So it's a Yorkshire pudding with pizza ingredients inside. I'll have to try it. I'm not sure, but we'll give it a go. Stew. Absolutely. Now, let me tell you, when the first lady makes a stew, I never have any on the first day. I always wait for the second day because it thickens up on day two and uh, tastes even better. It's good on day one, but day two. Day two stew, you should try it. Chicken casserole. Here's another thing that would fit nicely in, in a Yorkshire pudding. And uh, a Chinese one. Chinese char siu pork curry. Yes. I would definitely have a go at that. I love char siu pork and I love a Chinese curry. So I would definitely have a go at that in a Yorkshire pudding. Four other things to come off the list before uh, we get the list to the end. Um, today's show, by the way, um, I, I am dedicating today's show to the memory of Pete Breyer. Uh, it's 12 months since our good friend at the Slathwaite band, Pete, passed away. And... Um, I'm sending the, the the whole show, really, with good wishes to his wife, Joe, and family. Uh, Pete was a fabulous bandsman, a great all-round bloke, crown green bowler, rugby league fan, yes, absolutely, and uh, just loved his brass bands. He's been sorely missed by us all at the Slathwaite Band. He has a rousing piece of music, because Pete liked that kind of thing. This is by Camille Sanson, arranged by Walter Hargreaves, and the Brickhouse and Rastrick Band are playing. This is also for Stuart in Howarth, who got in touch to say, go on, Oily, give us a rousing rendition of the French military march.
Brilliant. I've played that. I love the music. It ain't easy. It's difficult to play, but it's worth the investment and the time in learning it. Walter Hargreaves' arrangement of Camille Sanson's French Military March, the Brickhouse and Rastrick Band playing there for Stuart in Haworth and also dedicating that to the memory of Peter Breyer. Time now for this week's test piece, and what a choice. This is by Mel. Mel is in Widness. Uh, now live in Widness, used to live in West Yorkshire, and played this test piece uh, once over. Can't remember the year or can't remember where, but what I do remember is that it's an absolute belter. It certainly is, Mel, and Edward Gregson made the composition for Brass Band. Your choice is played by the Black Dyke Mills Band. This week's test piece, Connotations.
Very worthy indeed of all the applause on the end of that recording. This week's test piece, Connotations, was played by the Black Dyke Mills Band. Edward Gregson's music was requested by Mel in Witness. You really do love your test pieces, don't you? We're probably full now until the middle towards the end of April with test piece requests. Now then, I'm going to finish this this list off. Um, Yorkshire puddings, what's in your Yorkshire? Well, a Yorkshire pudding crusted quiche. I love a quiche, never thought about this. I'll try it. I will try it and see how it goes. My mind says, how do you do this? Because a Yorkshire pudding is ready quicker than a quiche, but it must work. It must work because there is a recipe. I'd like to go back with two memories of Yorkshire puddings with local pubs. Uh, and the first one was a, a Yorkshire pudding dish named after the man who delivered the meat to the pub. And all it was, it was very simple. It was two larger size, not giant Yorkshire puddings, but two lunch sized Yorkshire puddings. The one where you get a roasting tin for the Yorkshires with four Yorkshire puddings. And there were two of those, one on the bottom full of gravy. And then there were several slices of roast beef on top and another one, another Yorkshire on top again, filled with gravy. And that was simply called Normans. So you used to go into the local pub and say, can I have a Normans, please? Would you like vegetables with it? Yes, absolutely. A Normans. And then another one was called a poor boy. This was a, a, a long sort of hot dog type roll, if you like, filled with roast beef and onions and mustard. An American style of mustard called a poor boy. You should try it. Absolutely brilliant. Sadly, uh, the pub that used to do it doesn't do it anymore. Um, uh, nor do they do gravy. Or do they? We, I've had gravy gate this week. I was out for a meal the other night. And on the bill was a charge for extra gravy. £1.50. How dare you? How dare you? Charge £1.50 for extra gravy. That is thieving. I'm sorry. But but when you're serving things which need gravy, you should just have a pan of gravy on the side. It's tight. Uh, and by the way, gravy is not spelt with an E. On the receipt, it was G-R-A-V-E-Y. That wasn't the only thing. I was served a pint of beer, which was off. The barrel had got to its natural end. Uh, one mouthful of, of the beer and it tasted just awful, horrid. Uh, it was like vinegar, and if I'd drunk that, I would have been rough the day after. The response from the pub was the barrel wasn't empty, and other people had been drinking it. Well, they would have been, cause, but you get to a certain point with real ale where it just goes, and you've got to change the barrel. Inexperienced behind the bar, they carried on serving. I had to have something else. Uh, we then made the order. There were five of us there. And we made the order. They told us what they didn't have, which is good. Uh, you know, I like that when they come and say, I'm so sorry, we don't have this, this and this. We made the order. And guess what? They came back and two of the five things they didn't have. Um, not a massive menu. They didn't have any roast beef. They didn't have any burgers. Um, it wasn't a brilliant performance. I have to say the food was fine when it came, but the overall performance needs help. Um, there were two young people. They were lovely. They were serving, they were trying the best, um, but there was no management and they need they needed to sort it out, basically. Um, but £1.50 for some gravy, but when the pie came that the gravy was meant to be with, there was no gravy on the pie. There should have been gravy included. Anyway, we left a very small tip instead of the normal tip that we should have left. What's in your Yorkshire was this week's special subject. Terry in Guildford has been in touch. Could you please play me Gough Richards' hymns of praise in your hymn tune slot any week? Terry, I can do that and I can do something even more special for you because this is played by your local band. Hymns of praise by Gough Richards played here by the Friary Guildford Band.
the Friary Guildford Band playing Gough Richards' Hymns of Praise, a selection of your favourite hymn tunes, requested by Terry, who's also in Guildford. This week's programme number 143 comes to an end with a great arrangement by a good friend of the show, Sandy Smith. Tony and Anne in Leeds have been in touch to say this is one of our favourite pieces of music, our favourite film music, without a doubt. We'd like to hear this one to end any show. We listen every week. Thanks for everything that you do. It's my pleasure. I've always said uh, I, I will carry on with doing this as long as you carry on bringing in the requests and we all carry on enjoying making the programme, then it will continue. This is music by David Arnold, played by the Black Dyke Band. Thanks again for listening. Back next week with 144 in the online series of A Bit More Yorkshire Brass. Our final piece, Tony and Annie Leeds, this is for you. The Sweet from Independence Day. Thanks again. Ta-ra! <laughs>